loading trucks out here, all 45-foot uh, trailers and so forth. We have five trailer loads a day. We have 11 trailers travel the United States, and uh, they're all geared for the truckload sales to the distribution centers nationwide. This is probably a familiar sight to you, or soon will be. For purposes of this sales course, let's look at that ceiling in a different way. Let's first divide it into two groups of fans, the decorative and practical fans, and the merely functional or warehouse fans. They're inexpensive, noisy, and ugly. We're going to concern ourselves with the first group only. Now, let's break this group down into three types of fans. First, there are fans made by Casablanca. And then there are the old timers, heavy with limited styles and features, often foreign made. And then the Me Too fans, fans that attempt to copy the various styles and features of the Casablanca line, also often foreign made. Now, suppose a customer comes in who's interested in a quality fan but not familiar with what's available. Oh, honey, this one is so old-timey looking. Old-time engineering and construction isn't always practical for today. You see, Casablanca has the elegance of the past, but modern, efficient engineering. For example, Casablanca's motor has totally sealed bearings. That means you'll never have to climb up to oil it. There's no danger of soiling your carpet or furniture with oil drippings. And you can hang a Casablanca fan almost anywhere you want to. You're not limited to just the joists in your ceiling because the housing of the Casablanca fan is lightweight precision die cast zinc, not heavy cast iron. And unlike the old fashioned fans, Casablanca has a reversible motor for cost-efficient air circulation in summer and winter. Casablanca also has a variable speed control that allows a complete range of speeds from 20 RPM to 200 RPM, not just two speeds like the old timers. So if you want a motor that requires no oiling, that's reversible and has variable speed, and a fan that's lightweight for versatile hanging, I don't think an old-timer fan is for you. Oh, this one looks like a Casablanca fan, and it's got a reversible motor, too. Hmm, this one's got sealed bearings with variable speed. You're looking at the Me Too fans. When it comes to features which are standard on Casablanca fans, you'll find lots of other fans calling out Me Too. For instance, Casablanca fans have electronically balanced blades. Me too. Casablanca has a variable speed motor. Me too. Casablanca has reverse airflow. Me too. Oh yes, there are lots of Me Too fans that can offer some of the Casablanca features, but no other fan can offer them all. A motor with sealed bearings that never needs oiling, Variable speed motor, reversible motor, a five-year warranty, blades, full UL listing, 10 models, nine finishes, 18 blade combinations, five light combinations. The catalog is a great sales aid with over 60 pages of excellent photographs showing each model, finish, blade, and light available. But there's more. Casablanca fans have slumber quiet, making them the quietest running fans in the world. And another exclusive of Casablanca fans is the Hang True, providing the greatest ease of installation in the entire industry. Here's an old friend of Casablanca's to show you how simple it really is. So you bought a Casablanca fan, huh, sweetheart? Well, hanging it is about as easy as feeling good on the 4th of July. As far as tools go, all the tools you... After you turn off the main switch or circuit breaker, attach the crossbar to the junction box. With the ground wire facing down, 
using the screws and washers provided in the bubble pack. Then gently tighten them. The next step is to attach the canopy to the crossbar and tighten it until it's rigid. On a sloped ceiling, you'd align the opening toward the top. Next, you pass the ball over the hanger stem so that the hex head engages the hex socket in the ball. Then pass the cover tube and rubber grommet over the hanger stem, sort of like a shish kebab. Now pass the wire stem to the top of the fan. Hand tighten by turning the ball until the rubber grommet contacts the fan. Then tighten the lock screw very securely. Now hold the motor housing firmly and install the ball into the canopy opening. The pin opposite the canopy opening should fit into the slot in the ball. All right, pal. Now connect the fan wires to the ceiling wires, white to white, black to the colored one, and green to green. Cap these wires with the three wire nuts provided. Then tuck the wires into the canopy and install the hatch, hatch opening in order to insert the screwdriver. Well, that's it, pal. I told The hang true, only from Casablanca. Well, I think it's pretty clear. The Casablanca fan is really the best investment in quality. We'll take one. Just one? Well, sure. That's all we need. You only have one room in your house? Well, no, but we're going to put it in the den. There's no question, but a Casablanca fan will keep your den comfortable year-round and help reduce your cooling and heating costs. But you might want to consider the additional savings by installing fans in other rooms where you spend time, like bedrooms, dining rooms, living rooms, and kitchens. And remember, with Casablanca's wide selection of styles and colors and lights, your fan can harmonize with any decor. Well, let me see that catalog again. We could put one of these in the bedroom with this finish. And for the kitchen, we could get a zephyr in white. And for the living room... Remember, room, when you're selling Casablanca, you're selling the world's finest. And it can be the easiest thing you've ever done. Because they sell themselves. <laughs> This is the uh, Barringer Studio in South Pasadena. Uh, it houses a collection of all the uh, musical antiques that I've accumulated through the years. And uh, this is the wealthy orchestrion that spent about three years at the Smithsonian during the bicentennial celebration. It was played every day for um, the public and uh, approximately once an hour really rather remarkable that it survived that three years of continuous play. Here's a album cover that um, they recorded at the Smithsonian for um, sale at the various uh, library and book stands and so forth. Um, the instrument was built about 1900 and um, has uh, all the capacity to sound very much like the Boston Pops. This is the uh, Mills Violano Virtuoso, which is a machine that's rather unique. It was uh, developed by a gentleman named Sandell in Chicago in about 1900 or 1910, and uh, plays a violin and piano combined. Very, very unusual and unique instrument.
course, have the um, large uh, theater organ that came out of um, the Ellensburg, Washington uh, Theater, which provided sound effects before sound on film was attainable. We also got the, uh, the real Welty organ that came out of the real factory in Lansing, um, Michigan. We also have a collection of antique uh, gambling machines here that are all essentially turn of the century. That's been a sort of a lifelong hobby of mine. I started uh, collecting slot machines when I was 12 years old, even brought one home on a streetcar one day, much to my mother's dismay. And the product of Barringer's, when it was uh, founded in about 1925, this building was built then, uh, were window displays, mechanical window displays. All of these unique items were uh, produced in this facility and uh, engineered, designed, and, and uh, shipped from this point. Dan Hornberger started, I think, in um, late September, early October, and worked uh, almost around the clock restoring and rebuilding the uh, Wurlitzer military band organ. It's a 150 style band organ, and it was essentially a basket case, and um, Dan really brought it back to life. It was quite a, quite a challenging project. and. Uh, we're still working on some of the fine regulating and tuning on it today. The custom carpet walkway announces these are no ordinary railroad cars. Indeed, there must be someone special who lives here. The sign says welcome, and you are, by invitation. Burton A. Burton owns the cars. They are for entertaining select clientele. Here, one's every comfort is attended to. Under custom hand-carved woodwork, the guest disposes himself beneath fine linen. His necessities are cared for with feet touching only polished granite under the most sterile stainless steel. The basins, of course, are created from the purest copper. And there is more. The interior is Brazilian rosewood out of a single log, book matched. And um, we designed all the furniture to meet the mood of the era that the car was originally manufactured from. Burton A. Burton's southbound carriages sit oblivious to their northbound neighbors aboard a freight train. This is, this is a grain car. Uh, this is the best type of car uh, when, the, when the weather's nice because it rides smooth. It's, it's uh, so heavy that it rides pretty smooth. Uh, the boxcars uh, tend to shake you up a lot, <laughs> you know. I mean, we slept in a freight yard last night. Um, and, you know, you got to be careful when you're hopping on the freights, too, because, you know, you could really get hurt that way. The hobo threesome met during the night. Their reasons for being here varied, their destinations uncertain. It's really, it's almost eccentric. I mean, some people might look at it as really, you know, low life, scummy. But it's, it's not at all, you know, it's really a beautiful way to travel. You get to see the open country and, you know, it's really free. Yeah. I've been hitchhiking for years and um, I've always wanted to hop freight and I've never done it before and I've had friends who have done it and they've always told me about it and I've just wanted to do it. Um, <laughs> just for the adventure, really. Well, we're just uh, going to go to Canada for dinner. <laughs> this is our plan. Only the elegant here, exquisite crystal stemware, into which is decanted nothing but the vintage stuff, with names unpronounceable by the common folk, the genuine bone china is custom made. After dining, one may retreat to his cabin for a review of the day's financial activities, or entertain himself with television viewing. There is a TV in every room, and when the broadcast signal weakens between towns, Guests may switch to the closed circuit system fed by three video recorders. Then there's the opportunity for a nightcap before retiring. All this exists, incidentally, to sell ceiling fans. 
the owner provides the luxurious journey to recruit a captive audience of dealers to whom he peddles his wares, some selling for as much as $2,000 each. But even this kind of life bears some grief. The biggest difficulty is to, you know, to get the, uh, the flow of information into the Amtrak system so that we can make schedules that conform to their load ratios and so forth. And it takes a lot of pre-planning to get this on the rails. If you don't get on the right train, you might get on a local or something, and it might take you 16 hours to get 100 miles, or uh, it might drop you out in the middle of nowhere or something. And on a sidetrack, you never know, you know? Some people have never been on a train before, and this is certainly a, a unique uh, draw to their curiosity, and they, on average, seem to enjoy it very, very much. It's a very um, luxurious way to to do something. <laughs> well, you can't beat the price, that's for sure. And even when the hobos schedule carefully, sometimes railroad officials disagree with their mode of passage. They're not supposed to uh, allow you to get on, but uh, they're pretty good people. I've, you know, I've, I've met a lot of them, and they're pretty good people, but uh, they have to do their jobs, too. You know? Inevitably, the carefree travelers were invited to meet their dinner engagement by some other means of transport. Station security officials, concerned for their safety, escorted the freeloaders to the Amtrak ticket window. Burton A. Burton and guest wandered into the sitting room for a respite after such a rigorous tour. Randy Ripplinger reporting for Channel 2 News. After the Casablanca ceiling fan is manufactured, packed, and shipped, it ultimately arrives at a retail outlet such as this store in Alhambra, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Casablanca Fan Company, Burton A. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to present this film report on the progress of the Casablanca Fan Company. Cut. That's a Casablanca, Mr. Burton. Casablanca. Let's try it again. Give me a cut. Take two. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to present this film report on the progress of the Casablanca. Cut. Cut. Give him a card. It's Casablanca. We better rehearse this. Just put the card in. Casablanca's new scientific delivery. Any accuracy, prior. It's almost time for lunch. Uh, take 20. Yeah, okay, this guy is out to lunch. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to present this film report on the progress of the carte blanche fan. Cut it. Cut it. Can't you get it right? Casablanca's new simplified warranty to enthusiastic dealers. Five concise, easy to read volumes in decorator bindings completely define the extent of Casablanca's liability. Casablanca's new warranty program provides conveniently located national service centers in major metropolitan areas. Courteous, factory-trained service personnel are eager and ready to solve all customer problems. These efficient service centers reflect Casablanca's continuing commitment to customer satisfaction. Uh, 1635. Okay. Where did you get this bimbo anyway? 
Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to present this film report on the progress of the Casalinka Film Company. Okay. Jeez. Is is that a toupee? Our skilled computer recently interfaced with a unique fail-safe backup system. Further proof of Casablanca's dedication to progress. <laughs> a new addition to the Casablanca's core of quality control and national sales manager Dennis Davenport's innovative leadership has produced Casablanca's latest... May I take your order, please? I'd like a zephyr. With a brass finish, hold the lights. That'll be $461.56. Please have exact change ready. Convenient, quick, and economical. Fan in the box. New. From Can you guys turn this fan on? These lights are killing me. It doesn't work. We had it on a minute ago and sparked What do you mean it doesn't work? Our dynamic sales professionals gives Casablanca the competitive edge. These honest, hardworking, sincere, well-trained personnel are the very lifeblood of Casablanca. Our personalized service results in high yield repeat business. Constant careful attention to detail they improve shipping and handling conditions, but an excellent safety record as well. Safe, careful, on time. That's Casablanca. A tribute to Mr. Burton's striking resemblance to Burt Engineering Corps to build the Burt. This beautiful fan is being offered in a limited edition signed by the founder Casablanca. <laughs> Truly an unusual fan for that special custom, the Burt, a product of superb Pasadena engineering. And now, a word from our customer. I didn't think I could ever afford a Casablanca fan, but now, with the new economy package, I can afford four of them. I really love my Casablanca fan. It keeps me cool in the summertime and, and warm in the winter. Casablanca fans? No, boy, I don't care no Casablanca fans. You know why? I'll tell you why. I had one of them fans in my showroom when them blades came off. It flew right off and killed my dog. When I called this guy Burton Burton, you know, he can't trust no guy with two names right. Anyway, Burton Burton, he wouldn't send me a new dog. Now, what kind of businessman is that? Here at the Mustang Ranch, all of our customers are gentlemen. They appreciate quality and good service. That's why I put Casablanca fans in every room. We prefer the mirrored blades, naturally. That's Mr. Smith. He's one of our very best customers. This year, Casa most perplexing problem, fan motor noise. We now offer a special hi-fi package with all fans. Just let me hear some of that Simply dog. place the speakers near the fan, activate the unit, and fan motor noise. Tremendous customer response greeted our recent ads in well-known national publications. Encouraged by this success, we are now advertising in other widely read magazines that will reach discriminating buyers of varied backgrounds. Advertisements placed in these much-loved and respected magazines will surely result in deeper market penetration. Dealers are particularly enthusiastic. Blanca awards thoughtful tokens of esteem to deserving individuals. You know, he does look a little like Burt Reynolds, doesn't he? I'd say more like uh, Slim Pickens. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to present this film report on the progress of the Casablanca Fan Company. Did I get it right? Hey. This, then, is the Casablanca Fan Company.
a modern, progressive company dedicated to quality and customer satisfaction.